Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to The Microwave Paradox, which is a horror game where you must test and use a microwave. A very big microwave producing company provide you the super microwave for mistesting testing purposes. Now you're going to test your new microwave with different types of food. Ring, ring, ring. So I've played a couple games I've developed before. One was about making lasagna, the other one was like with UFOs in your attic. Let me answer the phone. Hello. Thanks for agreement to participate in our super microwave testing. We hope you will get the best experience with your super microwave. Look super. To get better experience, we recommend you to watch the video tutorial, which will teach you how to use the microwave provided by our company. Okay. Sure. Um, play tape. Ow. Maybe this is a tape. I just pushed the tape on TV. Can become your best friend. It can help you to make your food better. It can even watch a movie with you. You have absolutely no reason to not to trust your microwave. Attention, microwaves cannot talk. If your microwave Damn. started to talk with you, then follow next step. First, make sure there is nobody hidden inside the microwave, because don't microwaves so. don't talk itself. Second, try to isolate yourself from the super microwave. It is better to lock all your house doors and put <laughs> the super microwave outside. Don't worry, your life is safe now. And finally, try not to talk and interact with microwaves. Some aspects of the effect of microwaves on humans are not yet fully understood. I can't have a microwave waifu. What what, what this tape is? In this tutorial, you will learn how to use your new super microwave. First of all, open your super microwave okay. door and put your open it. into the super microwave. Then close the door and wait a little. Next, when the super microwave doing its job, you can inject the food and enjoy. Please, pay attention. You should use microwave only to work with food. It is highly restricted to put any other objects into the microwave. Hmm. Simple enough. Okay, so we'll microwave some food. Is that food? I think so. Let's microwave. Let's microwave this. Can you move? Microwave. There we go. We're officially microwaving. I have just thrown that thing into the void. Um, if it worked out fine. Okay, let's uh, try a donut. Microwave a donut. I feel like we're <laughs> destroy that donut. Microwave it again. Apparently. Yeah, it's a uh, microwave donut. Microwave that donut. Huh. It's frillies on the floor. Hmm, this trash can looks kinda empty. Like a certain thing. Um, microwave this hamburger. Silly thing, I'm gonna talk to a microwave. So how you doing? Did I hear something over in here? 
No, we should be fine. Um, what else can we throw in there? They said, like, don't throw anything that's not food. Let's put this drink in the microwave. That sounds smart. What can go wrong? I, actually, nothing. That's, that's a little weird. You think something would actually go horribly wrong, <laughs> considering what happened? Um, what else we can do? Boxes. I put a whole box in the microwave. No. Well, let's put some more soda in there. Our job is to test it, after all. Two things in the microwave. I think I might put two things in the microwave. You have broken the microwave, which our company provided to you in testing purposes. You are a pathetic and worthless person. Damn. You don't deserve to own our super microwave. Our sales manager will now come to your house and take your life as a fine. Wait, what? Door lock. Do oh god, my eyes. Lock the door. Wait, you're coming out of the microwave! That does not make sense. Ooh. Where? 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 We're fine. No, you can go over the door! Thanks for playing. Microwaves are not talking. So, I guess that's it for the microwave paradox. This developer actually does have a, uh, a decent sense of humor. We've played three games of them now. Uh, the lasagna one. The, the alien one. The former two were kind of like ending collectors. This one was more linear. It was just like one thing. But it did have a good sense of sarcastic humor. I do like comedic horror games. I was disappointed we didn't get an exploded coke or anything in the microwave, or we couldn't, like, divide by zero, or, like, you know, microwave maybe a TV in there or something weird. Um, it was probably just food, you know, but, but despite that, we still messed up and still, uh, still kind of fried that microwave, still, uh, we're, you know, we're just worthless, terrible people. And this, this game is you know, about lessons, it's about teaching people that they're <laughs> worthless and we can't work microwaves. And then at some point, a man's gonna come out of your microwave and walk in all fours like some kind of Skyrim NPC that's been bugged out. And it's gonna destroy you as a fine. And this is all right, because you signed the contract. I mean, it's completely legal. You wouldn't want to void a contract, would you? So, you know, it's a bit of an educational game. Don't sign any contracts for weird microwaves. Because weird things happen. That's bad. And that's a good thing. Anyway... So, thank you all for watching me play the Microwave Paradox. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.